Hey crew, Jason tomorrow. Well, I promise we'll get into a little bit of fishing action, but first I wanna give you a few little tips or ideas on what I do to catch fish consistently at Elephant Butte. Well, my first, my first thing is a rig. So my rod is just a medium action spin cast rod, eight pound test, nothing special guys. You pick it up at any big box store. Other than that, I usually use jigs, uh, curly tail jigs or crankbaits or jerk baits. Pretty straightforward. I like to use what I call multi-species baits. In other words, you can catch anything from a crappie to a catfish to a black bass, white bass, walleye, anything on these jigs and on these crankbaits and these jerk baits. So that's what I like to use. Um, also, I carry my backpack. In my backpack, I got, you know, all those jigs and I have different colors and different styles and that thing because you never know what they're going to like. Uh, and also, if I'm not catching fish within, you know, 10 minutes of using a specific bait, I switch. I switch a lot. I really like to be aggressive and try to pick off those fish that are, are looking for something particular. Um, also, in my backpack, I got some waters. And for me, that's important because what I do is I cover country. I just put my backpack on and roll. I guarantee you, every one of these little points out here has a back, uh, black bass or two on it just waiting to take your take your bait so again super simple get out there cover country have a good time let's get into some fishing action guys fish on <laughs> i love it i don't know what this is oh a tiny little bass i think yeah fish number one Tiny little bass took this jerk bait. Cool. Fish number two. I think it's a little better of a fish. Let's see. Another little bass. Guy's a little better. Come on, baby. And just like that, I'm looking for white bass and I find the black bass. Seems to be a number of fish, number of fish laid in here. That's nice. Another little dink, small. Not a smally, a large mouth. Okay, that wasn't very graceful.
And just like that, a little black bass. Cool, tiny, but you get the point. Cover country. Ah, I'm snagged. Snagged on a fish, baby. Snagged on a fish. Woo -hoo -hoo. Come on, baby. Okay, I need to stop messing around. That's a good white bass, baby. Heck yeah! Ah. Fish on, baby! Fish on! Come on! Another white bass. Sweet. Hey crew, so there's some white bass and some black bass. Uh, all in the same day, totally different locations, but in the same day. As a general rule for me, uh, I find more black bass kind of by Rock Canyon and uh, Long Point. My white bass and walleye, catfish, that type of thing, I find more kind of by the dam site. I don't know why, but that's just kind of how it works for me. So exactly, I'm gonna get a bunch of questions on what exactly do you use, Jason? Well, when it terms it comes to crank baits or jerk baits, use something like this, nothing special. Here's another one. To be honest with you, I got those at Walmart. Um, they were on a clearance rack type thing, and I'm like, hey, I'll see if these work. And well, they work. And then as far as soft pl plastics go or jigs, you know, something like this, it's got a black top and a white bottom, paddle tail. The good old white grub. This white grub has probably caught more crappie and white bass than anything else. Sometimes I'll switch to a yellow. And then actually a, another little plain white paddle tail, all based off of a jig. Let me show you what jigs I use. Okay, nothing special. Again, guys, Elephant Butte is a great place to get out, enjoy yourself, walk the bank, catch a few fish. Thanks for watching. Take care, and we'll talk to you soon.